Hi. If you remember, in step one and two, we downloaded uh, and installed SQL Server Express version, and actually we already installed two versions of them. And now we are on step three, and going to install SQL itself. Let's start. I have already downloaded an installation of AcuSQL 11. Here you can see setup file. Uh, before continuing on, I want to remove this one from my view. Okay. Run setup. I accept the terms. Click next. Default location is good, and we are going to install typical. And we are going to install for all users. Okay. It would take only a few seconds more to install. It's copying new files. And it's already done. Uh, when we click finish, it would launch the program. Uh, also, you can see the icon created on desktop. Okay, we are running it for the first time. The default administrator uh, username is uh, nine ones. With the uh, password new in capitals. It is giving warning about that we are still using the default ID and password. Okay, when we click, we get the system administration for. At the bottom, you see in red that we are not connected to a SQL Server database yet. Okay, here we click, click expanded view, open database node, transfer database to SQL Server, and we would trans. We are going to transfer a sample database to work with initially. Okay. Uh, the server name is uh, SQL Express or SQL Server 2008. Uh, those are the names of the SQL Express installation we have done. We would choose one of these. Let's choose this one. Okay. And to write it, we, our, we have installed it on this computer to to tell the SQL Server uh, this computer we are using dots. It means this computer or local. Okay, then a slash and then the name of the installation SQL Express. On this computer we can use Windows authentication. Okay, and here in database. We, we would give a name to our database. Let's call it a track. Okay. And we don't need to supply something for owner. And for the uh, server client driver, we can choose one of these drivers. We have both on this computer uh, as part of the installation of SQL Server Express. We would choose the 2005 one, okay. And as well, the, as an optional step, we can create a public account for our database. This public account has limited rights on the database, and as a security measure, it is better to have uh, such a user. So I will create that with name Actrack and also the password track in lower case okay and we test the connection connection success so we can say transfer data it created the database and now transferring the sample data to SQL server okay it is completed now on a SQL server we have a database named track we close this form. 
Now go to database location and currently as you can see the uh, database is the native one. Switch to SQL Server. Next. And we are giving the same information here. Uh, our server is dot slash SQL Express. Okay, we are connecting with Windows Authentication on this computer. Instead of writing here, I will directly click this drop down. So, since we created this one, we can see here. I will select this. Test connection anyway. It connects and save the connection information. I will say, okay. We close the form. We need to exit AquaSQL to switch using the other database we set up new. Now when we click to this shortcut and close this one. Now we have the system administration in form again and uh, you can see that the uh, warning about that we are not connected to a SQL server uh, has gone because uh, now we are working with the SQL database. Okay. Uh, now since we done the installation setups, the next step however uh, is to install AquaSQL onto another computer. Uh, we are connecting to a SQL server on the same computer uh, using Windows authentication. It is the easiest connection. There is not any security measures uh, here and it lets us to connect and use. But when we try to connect from another computer, we didn't do any setup uh, on a SQL server yet, so it wouldn't let to do it. Next step, in the next video, uh, I will show you how to install there. Uh, sorry, I, I would skip the installation part because we have already seen how to install the AcuSQL itself. Uh, but uh, how to make the connection to this computer, okay, and install the client driver also, okay.